two owls were flying down the road. And one said, he said, I've just got engaged. And the other one said, you twit. Woo! <laughs> You're the youngest audience I've had in weeks. You are. I have just come off of a saga cruise. In the restaurant one night, it was someone's birthday. The waiter shouted, hip, hip. They all went replacement. <laughs> so you're thank young. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Whereabouts in Somerset? Oh, you're Ed. <laughs> Mine, Ed. Lovely to see you. Well, I'm a fellow countryman. So I said, I'm from Somerset. He said, where the hell's that? I said, he said what's up here? I said, I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, and I'm all drawn and haggard. He said, well, your eyesight's OK. <laughs> and I approached. I said, hello, what are you? She said, a turkey, what are you? I said, a packet of sage and onion. <laughs> I went into a shop, and there was a young lady behind the counter. I said, excuse me. I said, could you tell me where I am? But could you tell me really slowly? She said, yeah. Super drug. <laughs> So I went to the butchers <laughs> And this American came in the butchers He said, I'd like a sheep's head The butcher said, die, send up a sheep's head yeah. He said, I'd like an American sheep's head He said, die, take the brains out <laughs> so, <laughs> Do you know, I've got a funny next door neighbour He's half American, half Syrian He's his own worst enemy so But do you know, in the Midlands, mate Boston, where's the Midlanders? I'm just trying to get you a lift home, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I love Dudley. The Merry Hill Shopping Centre, right on it, Dudley. I tipped in my tip to tip to. Two fellas from Wolverhampton were fishing, and one said, he said, here, Wayne. He said, here, Wayne. He said, I think I've caught a whale. He said, is it a killer whale? He said, no, it's a boyshka whale. <laughs> <laughs> if you know your wife that well, what would you say is her favourite flower? He said, easy, home pride. <laughs> I'm looking out here tonight, I could tell some of you went to school about the same time as me, didn't you? About half eight, quarter to nine. Do you remember? Hey, can anyone tell me, where is Kingdom Come? <laughs> I've looked on the sat nav, I can't find it. Is it near mine, Ed? <laughs> Mum's always said it, I'll hit you from here to Kingdom Come in a minute. And it was always followed by a little prayer, so help me God. <laughs> so how old is he, love? She said he's four. He said he's big for four. She said he fell asleep in a grow bag. <laughs> He looked at me, he said, how old are you, son? <laughs> I said, I'm four. He said, when are you five? I said, when I get off the bus. <laughs> the good old days. She said, I'm going to get some of them cellophane implants. <laughs> Silicone. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Silicone. You know, a few weeks back, and uh, I said, You're right, Grandad, because he was a war hero, killed 500 men. He was a cook. <laughs> I said, I missed dyslexia by about 20 years. When I was at school, it was called Thick as Two Short Planks. <laughs> In the end, I did charity work, which is quite commendable, isn't it? I used to do two nights a week on the switchboard at Samaritans. And then I found in sick one night, and they tried to talk me out of it. <laughs>